Good morning, everybody. Okay, first up in entertainment, because Devo's actually en route. Let's yes. hope their plane Hopefully made it out route. in time. He's at the airport right now. I think his flight's at 10. So Headed to L.A., because they're going to bring us all the Grammy action yeah. live this Sunday. So, speaking, we're looking ahead to the, the Oscars. Oscars at the end of the month. We're talking about Bradley Cooper. He was on Oprah, and he opened up, as they said, he was embarrassed by his Best Director snub, for uh, the Oscar Best Director snub. Uh, they have all kinds of other nominations for the, uh, for the movie. Best Actor, uh, Best Adapted Screenplay. Screenplay, Best Picture. So, nothing to be uh, embarrassed about, but he said said when he saw that is when his uh, publicist texted him about it he said he said I thought oh wow and the first thing I felt was embarrassment embarrassed that I didn't do my part I didn't do my job come on I think that's a little overreaction he has been inundated with love by critics and fans alike this is one of the best movies of the year he was given the nominations for yeah. all the previous critics award shows it. he's still going in with three Oscar nominations and might walk home with hardware it's his first Foray as a director. Yeah. Why not just love all this well, instead and, of focus on the not? It see, and it just seems like he has to turn it about him to a degree. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Dude, you did your job. You did a great movie by the sounds of it. So you didn't get nominated. There are there are times when they look at what the best the best picture ends up being or best director, and you yeah. shake your head at it. Yeah. So you, you can't base how you feel yeah. on whether you got nominated for that. And look yeah. at all the directors who have made a million good movies, and they've and yet to have a nomination. Or yeah. an actual trophy. And we were wondering, are, do they, are they a little tougher on directors when it comes to nominating them in that they don't want to give a first-timer that, that, that chance to win? They want you to prove yourself as a director a little more? To show consistency, yeah, maybe? Yeah, and then say, you know what, then we'll, then we'll give you a best Yeah, he has lots to be proud yeah, of. Yeah, he's put no, out a great No movie. pity party. No pity Reviews party, are great. Okay, this is some great news uh, as we look ahead to this Sunday's mm -hmm. Grammy Awards. Miley Cyrus Instagrammed this post last night. So she uh, seems to be rehearsing or making some music. And very keen eyes notice the super fans, the stands, that Shawn Mendes and his guitars, uh, his name was on the guitars in the back of her photo. So everyone's speculating. They must be doing a collaboration. Could Maybe be. they're going to perform this Sunday night because we know that they are both tapped to perform separately. But the Grammys loves to showcase talent you wouldn't normally fuse together. And it's great when you can put them together and it works, right? Yeah. It's fun. It's fun to see different challenges for people. And of course, our own Shawn Mendes is going in with two Grammy nominations for Song of the Year with In My Blood and Pop Vocal Album. And she's really come out with a new sound, going mm -hmm. back to her roots. She's also performing as part of the um, Dolly Parton Music Cares event. Uh, I was just telling you the other day, that's her godmother. Yes, yeah. and I was listening to her one song, and she sounded an awful lot like Dolly Parton, uh, Jolene. Yeah, that song, it's Jolene. a very similar sound. Yeah, she had uh, a very sound. similar sound to it. Yeah, isn't that cool? Well, it'll be interesting to see how they blend together, Shawn Mendes and uh, I think it'll be Miley fantastic, Cyrus. considering, you know, if you look a few years ago, it was all about, like, the tongue sticking out and the, and, and the weird uh, <laughs> outfits, and she was in that party change, girl face. We change, we grow, yeah. we go in different directions. Right? And now she's doing this thing, and I think yep. they'd, be, they'd fuse well together, so we'll have to watch and see this right. Sunday night. Sunday night on City. Yep, coming up in a little bit, we're going to break down the album of the year, which is a huge category. Yeah, that's the big one. Let's head upstairs now to Mel. Mel.